so guys you are welcome back again how are you guys doing so once again i appreciate you guys i appreciate you so 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 much because it's it's so much it really makes me happy whenever i see those questions those nice comments coming in so i really appreciate you guys thanks thanks so much thanks so much thanks for sharing thanks for liking it thanks for those wonderful comments so that we, i really appreciate you guys so today uh, let me just show you guys so this is what is going on here this is our gallery area this is our gallery area and don't forget i should i told you guys that this floor that i'm, that I'm standing on is going to connect to to the car park area you can see those top beams those top reinforcement are over there so this floor that i'm standing on is going to connect to the car park so we have two ramp that is going to that the cars will be using for in and out this one here and we have another one on this side as well so this the whole third floor that you are seeing that i'm standing on is meant for car park this whole floor this whole third floor is meant for car park and the one that will still be joining the other car park there so it's all meant for car park but we still have buildings on some areas you can see our columns we have buildings that are going up on some areas while some columns are going to terminate like this one we are going to terminate some columns on this floor while some are going up so basically what we just want to do today is i want to transfer one meter height on these columns that we have casted already so i've shown you guys several times i've been doing a lot of videos on that but this floor is is not as the one i've been doing because this one is we have 3.2 meter height on this floor we have 3.2 meter height but the rest of the floors i think we have six meter we have double volume yes so and i've been using 1.5 meter on that floor but on this floor and the rest of the floors we all have 3.2 meter height to the seventh floor so that's what we have so on this the rest of the floors i'll be using one meter so that's what i want to do today so i want to transfer one meter height on on all these columns that we have that we've cast already so when they deprop all these ones i'll be transferring it on them as well like this one now they are working on it so they are depropping it so by the time they are true i'm going to transfer the one meter height on on the columns so let me just show you guys how i want to fix that let me show you how i want to fix that so i want to use level instrument all through so mark what you do for me is let me check from that place that we have peg at the middle here and at the middle here check to then you come uh, check that peg area then you come to this side as well you check to so i'll look at the average of that four to transfer it from there so let's let's start i think this one is this one is intact you can see this one is there our level is meant to set so what he wants to do for me is we want to check like four different spots on the floor we want to check four different spots so from there i will take my one meter up from there so i've asked him to go to some four to four different places so i will check the spot heights so i will now look for the for the average and transfer my one meter above the floor from there okay okay so i have one six one six one six two eight let me show you guys i have one six two eight so can you see you can see guys i have one six two eight okay one six two eight let me write that down i have one six two eight okay oh. uh, i have one six two eight one six two eight that's my first reading so he's on this side as well Sophio. yes sir uh, Sale when here. Eh, don't dark missing me. Don't dark as missing me. Can you be? Eh, you sale. Engineer, look, I'm on fire, Nico. JP, I'm learning to solve me. No, I'm going. Okay, Jerry. Okay, Mumbo, I'm being sent. One six two eight. Okay, here I have one six, one six two, one six two two. 
Okay. 1622. So I have 1622. 1622. That is 6 mm difference. 1622. So let me check the the other two points let me check for the other two points so i will now look for the average between the the four of them before i will now transfer the one meter height what do we have here This is we have one one six one six two one six two six okay one six two six we have one six two six we have one six two six so let me check for the last do we have peg there we have peg the peg point. Where do we have peg? Check that place, Mark. Uh -huh, check that spot. So, so here we have one six, one six one two. Let me show you guys. We have one six one two. Can you see it? So that is the one six one two. Okay, one six one two. So I want to look for the average between the four of them. One six one two. Okay, two eight two two one two. Okay. So let me use one six two two. So I'll use one six two two. So from the 1622, that's what I'll be taking the one meter height above. So if 1622 is my so I have one six one six two two is my floor level. So that's my back side. So and I want to transfer one meter height on on the columns. So that means one six two two minus one meter. That is one six two two minus one zero 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 so i'll be having six two two so i'll be having six two two so i'll be transferring zero point six two two on the column you know i want to transfer above so that means i have to subtract so that's the reason why i subtract one meter one thousand mm from one six two two so i'll be transferring six two two on the columns okay Okay, yeah, go down. Down, 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 down. Okay, up, 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 up. Six to two, up a bit. Okay, wait, oh. So let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. So can you see it? So this is six to two. So that's what I'll be transferring on all the columns to maintain a perfect level. Okay, yeah, Mark. So that's it. That's how I'll be. I'll be transferring six to two on all the columns to maintain a perfect, a perfect level. So that's what I'll be doing. So I want to transfer it on all the columns. So let's let's check this column. So you can see we have transferred the one meter height here. So that is a benchmark. That's the reference that they'll be using to to take the bottom of their beam, so they can they can start the beam form work. So you can see the engineer have already marked the that B is for the beam width. Why the hell the hell is for the that L is the measurement that the carpenter will take from this our reference. That means the carpenter is going to take 1.6 meter from this reference to the bottom of their beam. 
so that's that is one of the importance of the one meter level so this level is going to guide the the carpenter on how he's going to use how he's going to take the level to the bottom how he's going to determine the bottom of the beam for the form work so you can see this l means that he's going to take 1.6 meter from here to the bottom of the beam so let me just explain a bit for you you know i told you earlier that this floor is meant to be 3.2 meter floor to floor so that 3.2 meter this is one meter benchmark that means we have 2.2 meter left so from the 2.2 meter if we deduct another 1.6 meter that's going to give us the bottom of the beam from 2.2 let's deduct 1.6 meter so we'll be having 600 left so the 600 is the width of the beam that's going to pick up the floor as going to be at the bottom of the floor so that is the final so that means everything the total the total of everything makes it 3.2 meter so that is that's how it works so you can see the mark it on so put the spray paint so you can see the engineers have they've marked it on on all the columns you can see they've transferred it on on the columns the the beam width and and the height that it will be taken from our reference so that's how it works so that is the importance of the one meter level on on the column for 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 the beam preparation so that's it guys so if you have any question or you don't have anything you don't understand or you see something that is strange feel free to, to drop a question I, I will definitely attend to them as soon as possible so thank you guys thank you for for staying true thank you i really appreciate